up here in Oregon with Richard. We went to his mine yesterday and he asked me a question. I thought it was a really good question. So why don't you ask that question again and I'll explain it to everybody. Sure, I wanted to know the difference between a lens and a vein. So what's the difference between a lens and a vein and other sort of things? So let me explain it here. Now we start by understanding that everything, veins, lenses, stringer veins, etc., that we're worried about is being deposited by hydrothermal solutions inside voids in the rock. Now, the voids have to be created somehow, and it's usually by either magma injection underneath heaving it up or tectonic forces shifting stuff around. So here we have a rock. Let's suppose it's heaved up and it opens up this crack like that. Then that crack has hydrothermal solutions in it. They slowly fill it with mineralization and it turns into a vein. Now you notice it's irregular. All veins tend to be rather irregular. Some aren't, but it's rare. Now let's suppose that instead of just being heaved up, it is shifted sideways. Now what you do, if you look through there, you can see there's spots where it's contacting itself and other spots where there's openings and it's widening out and pinching off, widening out and pinching off. You could call that either kind of a discontinuous vein or a bunch of lenses. And you can see how these kind of look like a lens. It's thin at the edges and thick in the middle. Now, if it kept grinding and it opened up a little bit, you know, and formed a vein and then did it again and broke again and formed another vein and like that, you can have a series of veins inside an area that can be many feet across, tens of feet easily. And it, that's what you would call a stringer vein, where you've got broken wall rock, little veinlets, larger veins, all from different times, all put together into one mineralized zone. And the different structures inside that zone are going to tend to have vastly different amounts of mineralization. Now, as the liquids flow through these cracks, see like here, they'd be flowing much faster where my thumb is than where my thumb is now. There might be different temperatures because this is faster flowing, it's hotter, this is cooler, and things like that will cause the precipitation of different minerals to occur at different rates. So this area here might have lots of gold and this area here would not, or vice versa. Depends on exactly what's going on. When you have a vein that has significant concentrations in one area, if that's a, a long, slender thing, they usually call that an ore shoot, S-H-O-O-T, as differentiated from an ore shoot, C-H-U-T-E, which you dump ore to ore cars from. If it's just little pockets, then that's what they would call it. It'd be pockets of mineralization and they may move from pocket to pocket. So that's basically how all these different things forms and what's the difference between a vein, a lens, or a series of lenses, a stringer vein, ore shoots, and ore pockets. So I hope that was helpful in explaining the differences of these different structures. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.